Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I apologize if the audio isn't great, but I've been walking around trying to get a place with better audio and I just don't think I'm gonna find it here. But if you're wondering where I am, I am at Expo West. I have been waiting for this moment for a good three years now. If you don't know what Expo West is, it is a huge natural foods convention. It takes place in Anaheim at the Anaheim Convention Center. It pretty much is just a way for brands to showcase like their new products for the upcoming year so i'm here to taste all the new foods to meet with them i have i think eight meetings set up today i'm going to be here for three days this is going to be a vlog of all my days to show you what i get up to and all the fun food that i eat i think i have eight meetings today and nine tomorrow and one the third so these next few days are going to be pretty busy i'm going to be running around trying to meet with all the different brands um but i'm so excited i'm also very excited to eat um Today was a later day, it didn't open until noon, so I haven't eaten all day, because I was told to come hungry. And I am very hungry, so I'm gonna head inside and start tasting food. I don't know, I have a couple booths that I actually have to go to right now um, to meet with them, and then after that, I think I'll just start my day walking around trying food. I don't think you guys understand. I wanted to go in 2019, but I didn't meet any of the like requirements to go. And then 2020, I did, and then it got canceled because of COVID. 2021, it wasn't a thing. But 2022, I finally get to go. much much later in the day it is 3 45 and i haven't walked i don't know why i thought this would go a lot different or not go a lot different it is going the same way that i expected but it is so loud so crowded in there that honestly if i was vlogging during the booth like walking around you would not be able to hear my voice compared to everyone else talking so i don't really know what i'm gonna do about vlogging but i'm taking a break because my back is in a lot of pain and i'm done standing for a little bit but i only get like two more minutes i found a booth with water so that was very 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 helpful because i was dying but i now have i'm a little confused i got an invite to this happy hour event thing but i could not find the booth so we're gonna head back in and try to find that booth mother raw sound and pulp pantry to enjoy nacho boats and drinks. That sounds so fun. So we're gonna go try to find that because I don't know where it is. I just went on a wild goose chase trying to find that one booth. I asked like multiple workers, showed them the invite I got, and they all just said it made no sense, um, which I'm a little sad about. I wanted to go eat nacho boats, but it's okay. I have one more meeting left that I have to do right now. So I'm heading over to that booth. And this is Bond Devil. I honestly don't know what products they make, but we're gonna go find it. So I just met up with the last brand of today, Bon Deville is how they say it. I was saying it wrong, sorry. I just looked them up on Instagram. I believe they're the same brand as the Coconut Collaborative or like the same company, something like that. But Coconut Collaborative is one of my favorite brands of coconut yogurt. And this is a coconut based like pudding. It's called vanilla ganache, but I feel like it's like pudding. It's actually so good. And they gave me a little metal spoon. And I love little spoons, and it's reusable, and I'm so happy. I think the expo hall closes in an hour and a half, so I'm gonna go back in, go, because there's two halls open today. I already went through a whole one of them, but then this one I haven't really discovered or touched at all, so I'm gonna try to hit as many places as I can in the next hour and a half before it closes, and then I gotta go home, which is so sad, but I'll be back tomorrow. Port gyoza that I'm actually so so excited for. I've had Omniport 
once at a restaurant near me and it was delicious. But I'm tired, very full, and it closes in about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna head out of the expo hall because I um, did everything I needed to do. And then there were some food trucks outside that I wanna try to hit up before I leave. And then there'll be the end of day one. I was just talking to you guys about how full I was and then I go to a food truck and they gave me half of a fish sandwich. I didn't think it was gonna be that big, but oh well, it's probably gonna taste great. Mmm. Good Catch is a really good brand if you guys have not tried them. I just got my last food item for the day. I'm walking to the car actually, which is so sad, but I'm quite full, so it's maybe a good thing. Um, but I went to the BioLife truck and they're doing like a collab with the brand Unreal. I've actually never had them before, but they're like vegan deli slices or something. I got cheese steak sandwich. I kind of forgot what I got. I don't know, she gave me two options and I picked one, but it has caramelized onions, BioLife cheese. They're like deli slices on a French roll and it's so yummy. So I'm gonna head to the car. I'm getting a little cold, so good timing. Hello guys and good morning. It is the next day. Time for day two of XOS. It's like a 35 minute drive, so not bad. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine meetings today. So even more than yesterday, but I'm here a little bit earlier, like an hour and a half earlier. So I have more time today um, and I'm very excited. It is 11.20 a.m. and I have not eaten. I'm so hungry. So my first meeting is with Oro. I don't know what they are. Ooh, they're like vegan protein shakes. Fun. I actually kind of have to do like four almost right in a row right now. So I'm gonna go ahead into the convention center. There's more halls open today. So like a lot more booths than what there was yesterday. So I'm excited and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get some food. I had to come and stop and film this clip. I was actually heading into the convention center but I got distracted because there was a Daring um, food truck and they have their wings. I've never gotten to try any of Daring products besides yesterday they had a booth where I got this like chicken salad on a cracker and it was so good. But I've seen so many like advertisements for Daring and they look really good so I'm excited. I don't know why that was so tough, but it's really tasty. It's not the chicken pieces that's tough. It's like the breading outside for some reason. Sorry if the angle's weird. I'm holding you between my knees because I'm sitting on the ground like all of my clips have been filmed. Anyway, I have now met with three out of the nine brands and the second one actually told me to go back to the booth in a few hours to discuss a few more things, but I just got a piece of pizza. Pretty good. It's coconut based cheese. I have one more booth that I like have to go to right now and then after that I think I have a couple hours to just go around and do whatever I want, which I'm excited for. There's a few booths that I'm trying to find and like I've shown probably clips of the expo hall but there's two different North Halls. There's Hall A, B, C, D, and E. So when I show you like the overview of one of them, make that times seven. <laughs> I don't even know the amount of exhibitors here, but it's like tens of thousands. It's insane, but it's so much fun. I'm back 
on the ground eating more food. I just stopped by the Good Pop booth, which they make like really, really good coconut um, creamsicles. I don't know, they have a lot of coconut based, I think coconut based, whatever it is, dairy free ice cream but they just came out these are new i believe at least to my knowledge i think they're like displaying them here for the first time but they're ice cream sandwiches and i love ice cream sandwiches so i decided i was gonna take a break from everything going on inside and come outside it's actually a really nice day today and eat an ice cream sandwich it's so good i don't know if you guys remember exactly how it looked yesterday but i could not walk like this yesterday everyone was so compact but i think because the other halls open today it's so much better so i can kind of vlog in here now not a lot because there's still there's still a good amount of people and it's still not the most quiet but um i'm not tripping over everyone every other step i have a, a little over an hour in here i'm gonna walk around and i don't know look at more booths until the end, I think I'm gonna go outside and hit up the same food trucks before I leave because I wanna try their other options. Okay, so I just stopped by the Violife truck. I can't leave that stuff in my Violife. I live so good. And today, they had truffle mac and cheese with bonza pasta. That sounds so good. Um, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> I'll give you guys a taste test. And then I'm gonna walk over to the Good Catch booth and get more stuff. It's not bad. It's not as flavorful as I would've liked. From Good Catch, I got a fish stick because they had the same sandwiches yesterday, or this, and I wanted to try something new. Really good. Good morning, it is day three in my last day, and I'm actually really sad about it. And I'm also really cold, I'm wearing a dress. I am wearing long sleeves, but my legs have goosebumps up and down. Once again, just like starting of my day yesterday, there's the Daring food truck. And right as I got out of the elevator, they gave away their last breakfast quesadilla sample. And that's something that I've seen on their menu for the past couple days, but I haven't been here by 11 to get it. And it is currently 10.55. I'm hoping that they have another batch in the next five minutes. I saw them putting out new sample cups, so I'm kind of just waiting by the Daring truck because I really want to try this breakfast quesadilla. Um, but then, today's my last day. It's 11 a.m. right now, oh, 10.56 right now. And I'm only able to stay here today until around 3.15, which is sad, but it's okay. Um, I only have one meeting today, so I'm gonna go do that first, probably. And then just, I don't know, do whatever else I want for the rest of the day, walk around, try new food. So I'm gonna wait like a minute or two more and hope that they have the breakfast case to do. Guys, I'm actually really devastated. As I was filming that clip, they brought them out and I miss them, and that was the last. <laughs> it's okay though, I'll find other good food. Okay, so I was just in um, the expo hall, but I had to come out because there was something that was deserving of me coming out just to show you. Oatly has a full soft serve booth today, and I got a swirl, chocolate and vanilla, because I wanted to try both, and then I got a little brownie on top, and it's so cute. It is so good. This is probably going to be my top booth of the day. No Evil is coming out with a new product next month and it's their beef strips. I just got the whole rundown and this is a beef and cheese sandwich that I'm gonna taste test. Why is that so good? <laughs> I always say to 
that you can find a vegan alternative to any product ever that you would ever want. With that being said, there are actually two things that I always have said to myself that I cannot find a vegan version of. One of them being cottage cheese, one of them being cotton candy ice cream. Cotton candy ice cream is still yet to happen. I'm really waiting because thrifty cotton candy ice cream is my favorite. But anyways, Miyoko's came out with a plant-based cottage cheese. I actually already tried this yesterday, so I won't, I mean, it's not like a first taste test, but it is made from watermelon seeds. I don't know exactly how it works, but it is pretty good. The texture is not obviously 100% cottage cheese, but the flavor is quite similar. And this is definitely something that I'm gonna be buying when it comes out. I know a lot of people aren't cottage cheese fans, so if that's you, then forget about this, don't be mad. But I think cottage cheese was pretty good, and I'm excited, it's super good with fruit, and they served it in little cups with strawberries and blueberries. So, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't know when exactly it's coming out, but it's coming out. Here's the cottage cheese and a piece of strawberry. I think it's pretty good, I'm impressed. But also I expect it to be good because I love everything Miyoko's. mango like this a plain sorbet or if it was one of the other flavors I think they had like coffee and hazelnut I would rather have a plant milk okay so what a surprise I'm outside alone again well I'm up been alone this whole time but sitting on the ground because I needed to take my last break before I head back inside for my last two hours which I am actually so sad about because it's two hours here until next year it's okay though I have a big bag of snacks which I'm so excited I'm gonna do a haul I think in a separate video honestly because I think this might be its whole video in itself and then a second video is gonna be a haul um, if it's not in the end of this video then that means it will be a separate video but I'm gonna head back into two more hauls that were open the first day, but I haven't been to it all today. So I just finished up at the um, last of the food booths that I'm gonna get to see today, but there's a section that I realized I haven't gone to, which is the beauty makeup section, because it's, I would say, mainly food, like 85% of the booths are food. However, there is like a lifestyle beauty section, so I'm gonna head over there, because I haven't checked any of it out, and then I gotta head home. Well, not home, but I got plans tonight, so I can't say it until the end. So I just stopped at the BioLife truck for my very last food item at Expo West. I'm so sad, I have to head to the car after this. But it is a turkey sandwich with the brand Unreal Deli Slices and then BioLife Cheese. Hi, so it is actually now like four days after the expo and I have never filmed an outro because I was planning on filming it that night. Um, however, that night I realized that I lost my wallet. So clearly I was not, you know, the happiest that night. I was not wanting to pick up a camera and film. Long story short, I found out that I lost it that night, like 9 p.m. So I had to go to sleep knowing I didn't have my wallet and I had no idea where I was. Woke up the next morning, spent my entire day getting replacements for everything. Um, and then at around 8 p.m. that night, it was found. So I was able to go pick it up and I was obviously so 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 thankful that it was found but i did spend my entire day getting replacements for everything and driving four hours to get it um 
but I did have my wallet and I have my wallet now so we're all good that is the end of this video I hope you had close to as much fun watching it as I did being there it was such an amazing event and I'm so 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 excited for future years so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video